Hi, I'm Talia. Um, I'm a co-founder at Monarch Racing. Um, I handle all the accounts, uh, the client liaison and updates. Hi, I'm Jason, the co-director at Monarch Racing Syndications. I handle the day-to-day -day activities with the trainers, race preps and communications with clients. So I'm currently studying a diploma in equine naturopathy. So that is a study of nutrition, um, herbal medicine and myofunctional therapy. So that looks at the horse as a whole and obviously the internal and external factors. Um, and essentially we look at all of those things and want those to be working at optimum level to give the horse the best recovery, health and wellness. So we have been um, shareholders with other syndication businesses. I mean, we started probably a couple of years back, maybe five years ago, yeah, five years ago, small shares. And we absolutely loved every aspect of it. So essentially the whole process of the horse, um, the spelling to pre-training, training, and obviously the prep before the races, going to the races, um, we just loved it. So we loved it that much that we ended up buying our own racehorse, our own. So our, my first experience was when we brought a small share with a syndication company. And actually I, I thought we bought one horse. I thought we went out and saw this horse and Jason's like, oh, do you love the, love the colt? Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and then the lady said to us, the strapper said, did you want us to bring the other horse out? And I was like, what other horse? <laughs> Well, and he's like, oh, we bought two. I'm like, oh, right, okay. So I was like, right, oh, we've got two whole racehorses. Um, and then I guess from, like, I had no idea about racing. Like, I I mean, I had horses growing up, but nothing, it was more just nothing uh, to do with racing. Yeah, nothing to do with racing. So anyway, he, so we've got two racehorses. And then we, I guess I was involved with the whole process with the updates and things like that. So it was exciting. Went to the races a couple of times and then really, really started to enjoy the whole process. And there's so much more than just going to the races. So there's obviously the, the pre-training, training all the steps, get all the updates from the trainers, found that really exciting. Um, and then obviously um, meeting the other owners in, that were in the syndicates, that was awesome. So that was at my first experience. And I guess when we really got into it was when we took a, Jace really wanted to buy his own racehorse. So anyway, we here we are on English Digital. Um, we did a few times. We didn't get we probably had how sweating. many times? We were, yeah, sweating, stressing, and I was always pushing till he's like, "That's our limit. That's our limit." And I'm like, "Just go, go one more bid, go one more bid." <laughs> anyway, we eventually <laughs> we eventually got um, our first racehorse, Mr. Marathon Man, and we had yeah. like the best time with him the best yeah, the whole the best. it was the proper real deal experience like doing you know you don't have um essentially like a syndication company managing it so it's just it was us and the and richard the trainer um we were involved in every step of every well yeah you know? we were we're involved every, well, step, in of every step of the way racing at and 300 to one and coming yeah and being competitive that was yeah. good we're wasn't it anyway. it's was more exciting than being a short price favorite yeah and then I guess the, the highlight was when we won the Canberra Cup. Yeah. So that was an awesome day. Um, well, that was all. Yeah, it was great. Hey. Leaving with a trophy and a pram. Yeah. Yeah. And two little boys that were worn out. <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> yeah. It was something that I've always floated the idea that we wanted to be syndicators. Mm. Give it a go. I love business and everything about business mm. and we love horses. And this is like an absolute passion project mm. for us. So... I just didn't have the courage to do it. And luckily, Talia pushed me across the line and said, let's do it, let's do it. So we did. Yeah. Here we are, we've got a couple of horses now. We've got really good clients. We've had um, success, we've had failures, we've had fun along the way, and we're just, you know, having fun. Ooh, what's the biggest learn? It's very hard because horses, yeah. you, no one can tell you how good they're going to be. Yeah. Um, and I suppose we're still young. We haven't had that opportunity to make too many mistakes, you know. The biggest thing we care about is the people and looking after the people. We're not always going to buy champions. And we're not always going to buy slow horses either, but um, it hasn't really been a good learn yet. More, more to trust the professionals in the team, I think. Yeah. Trust your trainers, okay. trust your bloodstock agent, trust your vets, and trust the process. Ownership and what it feels like to us 
Yeah. We've had small shares. Yeah, we've had we've small had shares. 100% horses and that feeling, it's euphoric, you know, that, that winning feeling and that passion, it's just undescribable. It's the best feeling we've ever had and it feels the same at 1% or 100%. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says. We love it, eh? Love it. Just jumping around. <laughs> yeah. Really our team. Yeah. We, um, everyone's got a point of difference and like, we're just genuine caring people that want to have a great experience for our clients and with our clients. Um, and our horses, none of the, not horses that our trainers don't want to train. They're not horses our bloodstock agent didn't pick. Mm. You know, they're not, they're always healthy, sound horses when we buy them. Um, and people trust us. They know that we care. So that's probably the biggest difference. I met Ollie Coolman through David Pfeiffer. Um, Ollie's got a resounding record for picking good horses, and he's an absolute gentleman of a person as well. Um, and he, when we went to him, mm. he, we asked him if he'd be able to be our bloodstock agent, run us through his processes, what he likes, what he doesn't like. Um, and we've followed him and trusted his process, and we've got some beautiful babies coming through in our young stock, and it's been good, hasn't it? It's been great. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. We've met some fantastic people. Yeah. But they, I mean, everyone from all different walks of life. We've got we've got people yeah. from, you know, now we've got people in different states all coming together. Everyone's excited. So when essentially when we get someone that wants to come on board, and obviously I do all the onboarding and and speaking to them and hearing how excited they are makes me excited. So yeah, no, we've got some really really great people. It's probably Talia's strongest asset with our new customers. Like she's got a real good aura about her. People are unsure. They speak to her on the phone. She's very helpful, walks them through the process. And everyone seems to, they start off with me in sales and they finish with Talia at the end and they don't sort of come back. <laughs> they're always like, they're always ringing her now, you know, which is good because that's the way the team works, eh? Hey? Yeah. 2024, we're looking to expand our stable. So we'd love you to come and be a part of Monarch Racing Syndications. We're headed to all the major sales at Magic Millions and English Sales. Um, we'd love to have you part of our team. Be a part of our team at Monarch Racing Syndications.